if you're an England fan, you'll know the stat already. Since 2003, they haven't won a Grand Slam. That's a long, long time for a country with England's playing numbers and, and resources. The statistic that people may be less familiar with, though, is that England have finished in the top two for five of the last six seasons, which suggests that actually they're not that far away. So what have they got to do to just take that leap to, to, to win the championship? They did it in 2011, but they haven't done it since. Personally, <laughs> it's the first things first, beating France in Paris is going to be crucial. They've also got to get over the, the memory, bad memory, of losing uh, the Millennium Stadium to Wales. Thump they were going for the title. If they can win in France, all sorts of things become possible. I don't think there's any question that England are going to be a better team or a harder team to beat by the time they get to the end of the championship. It's the beginning, not quite sure. They've got a few injuries out. They're going to miss Manitou Alangi. They're going to miss Tom Croft. They're going to miss one or two others out wide. Having said that, they've got some good young players coming through. Joan Launchbury in the second row. Him and Courtney Laws really starting to establish a pretty dangerous combination. If you look at fly half, Owen Farrell, George Ford in the squad now, there's a little bit of competition going there. They're both good young players. <laughs> I think what'll be really interesting is out behind in the back three. They've got to find the right combination to score some tries. But there's some certainly some players out there. Anthony Watson, you really want to keep an eye on him. Heck of a quick player when he gets the ball in hand. And there's others. Uh, I think they'll be more dangerous than they have been. So much really depends on two matches. As we've said, the first game in Paris, the opening weekend, really crucial. But also, Sunday, March the 9th, England v Wales at Twickenham could actually decide the whole championship. Now, if England, home advantage, a little bit of revenge in the air, they'll be desperate to do well in that game. I think they've got the pack. I certainly think they've got the motivation. Just a question of getting it all together, getting the right people on the pitch could be very interesting. The consensus seems to be they won't be a Grand Slam this year. That doesn't mean to say they won't be, but uh, it's going to be pretty hard. Let's say England 2015 World Cup is what they're really aiming at. I think next year they'll be stronger than they are now. I think they'll be stronger in March than they are in the beginning of February. Put all that together and you'd say definitely top half of the table. Just depends if they can score enough tries to take the title.